Welcome to the future of electronic design with Proteus. We are thrilled to introduce our brand new libraries, packed with the latest components and features to supercharge your projects. This FSR library model offers an actual FSR experience, which you can easily integrate into your projects. It features a convenient slider control for adjusting the force applied to it. The foundation of this model lies in the graph sourced from the FSR guide document, showcasing the inverse correlation between force and resistance. This graph, which is integral to understanding the behavior of FSRs, demonstrates how as force increases, resistance decreases, and vice versa. This is a new PIR sensor library that is different from others you may find on the web. These new library models have interactive animations, which make your simulations more enhanced and visually appealing. In this PIR sensor Proteus library, you will find two models, one digital and the other analog. Both models can easily interface with any control equipment within Proteus. The integration of these models is quite simple, especially for use with Arduino. If you're using a digital PIR sensor, you can employ digital input pins to read the output state. However, with an analog sensor, you can utilize an analog pin on the Arduino to capture the output voltage and then convert this analog voltage into a meaningful representation. I have developed an LED meter capable of reading voltage ranging from 0 to 5. It features 10 LEDs that correspond to the input voltage level. The goal is to provide a quick and intuitive visual representation of the data, making it easier for users to interpret and respond to changes. The LED meter is an analog controlled model that typically expects a real analog voltage input to control the LED brightness or display level. To connect it with Arduino, you can use a low-pass filter. The LED meter model library consists of four types of meter models, red, green, and blue, with the fourth model being the RGB model. All models have the same functionalities, but feature different color displays. Are you looking for a Modbus RTU sensor to simulate in Proteus? Look no further. With our Modbus RTU sensor library, you can simulate a temperature and humidity sensor within Proteus. The library model provides realistic sensor data, mimicking actual sensor behavior for accurate testing and development. You can adjust the simulation mode, such as temperature and humidity settings, either automatically or manually, to suit your specific needs. Now you can simulate the optical fiber transmitter and receiver in Proteus with the optical link model. This simulation model is created using the Photodiode DT8811VB and Phototransistor Q2N3904 SPICE models with slight modifications. It represents a fiber optical transmitter and receiver with an optical fiber link. It is designed solely for the demonstration of TTL-compatible devices, Arduino and other microcontrollers, connected with an optical link. A flex sensor is like a bendy ruler for electronics. It's made of a thin, flexible strip that can detect when it's bent. Inside, there's a special resistor that changes its resistance when the sensor is bent. So, when you bend the sensor, it sends a signal to show how much it's been flexed. This library includes two sensor models, one with animated bending, which shows bending animation as you adjust its values, and the other without animation. Both sensors function the same way, but they differ in graphics and animation. The MQ2 gas sensor is a type of gas sensor commonly used for detecting multiple gases such as methane, butane, propane, alcohol, smoke, and carbon monoxide. The MQ2 sensor provides only analog output. Therefore, I have designed a sensor model without the comparator module. This is the gas sensor circuit with a comparator module. You can set a threshold by using a potentiometer so that when the sensor resistance goes below the comparator threshold value, the module will output low, otherwise it will output high. The fan library includes various fan models such as cooler fans, pedestal fans, exhaust fans, and table fans. These models are built on the Proteus VSMDC motor model but with improved graphics, providing visually appealing feedback on motor operation. 
However, it's important to note that some models are constructed using the simple DC motor model, limiting the extent to which properties can be altered for these specific models. Here is the new rotary encoder model I have designed for Proteus, featuring the same interface for connection as the actual hardware. When you open up the properties window, you'll find a couple of options for adjusting your encoder. The first one lets you tweak how quickly the knob spins around basically how fast it moves. You can set this speed in hertz. The second option is all about which way the knob turns, either clockwise or counterclockwise. It's as simple as picking between 0 for clockwise or 1 for counterclockwise. So, you have the freedom to control both the speed and direction of your knob's rotation with ease. A reed switch is a type of electrical switch operated by an applied magnetic field. It consists of two ferromagnetic reed contacts enclosed within a glass tube filled with inert gas. When a magnetic field is applied, the reeds are drawn together, completing the circuit and allowing current to flow. This cool model makes your prettiest simulations more fun and realistic. You can see exactly how a magnet bar triggers the switch to turn on when it comes close and turns off when it moves away. Now, keeping the video short, I will only mention the name and one-line description of the library's models. A servo driver model library for Proteus. With this driver, you can control multiple servos using only two pins on your Arduino board. The Tank Level Models Library is designed for tank level projects in Proteus. You can use them as water level sensors, and in most projects, they serve well as level sensors. A ball tilt switch sensor, which is commonly used especially in applications where basic tilt detection is sufficient. The Sound Sensor Model allows simulation of sound through input from a PC. The sound sensor captures audio input from a PC, such as from your headphones, microphone, or any other microphone. The INA219 module is like a little helper for your Arduino. It helps you find out two important things about your electrical stuff, current, how much electricity is flowing, and voltage, the power level. There are more libraries available for download on my website, electronicstreet.com. If you have any requests for Arduino module libraries in Proteus, please leave a comment.